So I was on Twitter looking at some tweets and I saw this Celestial Maze tweet uh, where he created a shader uh, using Material Maker of a radar detector and I decided maybe I could try it, give it a try in Blender and uh, this is uh, what I need to do. So you can see we have some stuff being detected by the ladder and uh, you can make adjustments uh, maybe to the grid if you wanted. Make it, can make it smaller to still detect it has a glow and everything. Yeah, let's see how to set this up. This is just a plane uh, with the material set up. So let me add a new plane. Isolate that, go to the top view and uh, create a new material. I have no lights in here, uh, so that's why we're not seeing it. So I'm just going to use an emission shader for it to show up. Uh, I can see it's just a shape. Let's remove that. And uh, what we're going to do to make this circle, yeah, we can start with the, these rings here. Uh, we can start with a gradient node. I'll connect that. I need it to be spherical. And uh, for it to be in the center, we can use Ctrl T. Make sure you have Node Wrangler, Node Wrangler add-on enabled. And to have this circle in the center, just change the coordinates to object like that. And now this is going to give us the control of the rings. Now to turn this into rings, we need to use a math node with the operation of modulus. Uh, this will give us uh, the rings. Now we can, uh, since this gradient has negative values, if we change this to positive, to all positive values using another math node and changing this to absolute, what is that, like that, I can come in here and add another operation use greater than and uh, that should give me uh, the lines like that. Uh, so scaling this up using a uh, math node here, changing the operation to multiply should give us more rings in case we want to. Uh, this modulus will change, will adjust the thickness of the lines. So let's keep it somewhere like that. Now with that uh, we need the crosses uh, those we are going to use an x, a separate x, y, z, uh, because we can use the object coordinates. Uh, this is going to give us a gradient in the x and the gradient in the y. Uh, we can use a greater than a math node with the greater than operation. Uh, if we add the absolute value, uh, we can easily create a line like this. I guess we can change this to to a uh, less than. Let's stand so that we have a white line instead. So let me try explaining what's going on here. So without the absolute, uh, this gradient starts from negative one, negative 0 0.9, 0 0.8, uh, up to zero here, and then goes back to zero, one, two, three, uh, zero, zero point one, zero point five, zero point up to a uh, value of one. Now, if we change this, if we add a absolute value here, it's, it changes all the all these numbers to positive values, including the negative values that we had here. And that's why we have a mirror thing going on here. So anything that was negative here has also turned into uh, positive. And uh, then uh, the greater than sign is just cutting out any numbers uh, within that are greater than or less than this value. So anything below, anything greater than 0 0.01. So all those numbers have turned into black. Uh, that's what uh, this gradient is. Uh, this less than sign is giving us, uh, hence giving us a line uh, like that. I want it to be very thin, uh, maybe something like that. Uh, so we have done this for the x value. Now we can just duplicate this node and uh, do it for uh, for the x value. We have did it for the y value. Let's do it for the x value, and now we should have that. Now we can add these two together uh, to add to have uh, the cross like that. So we have this and we have that. Now we can go to this uh, ladder detector, this, and you can actually see from here that uh, he used a radio gradient. So let me use that. I can use the texture gradient and change this to radio. And again, that will give us something like this. Uh, the center of this radio is off the center of the object. So we can use these coordinate maps, connect that in, and I will have something like that. Now I can come back in, I can use, uh, to turn this into a line, I uh, can use another greater than sign, 
I just play with this value. I guess we need to use a less than sign at this time so that we have a line like that. It's, it has to be a very, very small number, I guess. 0 0.01, uh, yeah, something like that. And uh, because we want this to be rotated, rotating, I'm just going to give it its own coordinate mapping, but uh, we still want to use uh, this text coordinates. Nothing changes, but uh, when we rotate on the Z axis, you can see how the, this rotates. And I can actually type in uh, hash frame uh, divided by maybe 20, and uh, that should uh, start to play like that. Now let's add in this uh, glow, glowing line. Uh, we can create that from this again, uh, because we want them uh, from this line. And, uh, to, that, to do that, we're going to add, let's use a power. Let's just use a power so that we kind of push this, this gradient in a bit. Just push that in. Now we can add these together. Uh, actually, I can just use a mix node, mix node, and uh, I can have this. Uh, this is supposed to be color. You can use this as A, and this is B. I'd have, and now we can just use the add operation to add them together. Push this up, and uh, we can start adding in colors here. You can use a color ramp here. I think here. Just give it a yellow color like that. And I think I'm going to make this a bit thicker, maybe like that. Actually, I want this white to be added to the other one. And I think if I increase the factor, we just if I if you turn off clipping here, clamp factor, I can make this really bright, especially if you turn on our bloom. But for now, let's not have it yet. So if you play back, you can see this is doing like that. But uh, the problem is that uh, it's going in the wrong direction. The gradient is in the wrong direction. So so what we could do is uh, just add a gradient, uh, a ramp, a ramp, a ramp before the power, and just flip these around like so, so that our gradient is also flipped. Now it's going in the, in the right direction. In the, it's all going in the right direction. But uh, it's not within the boundaries of our ladder. So let's see how we can fix that. So I want to get the our circle do we have yeah so this is our circle and uh, it should determine the boundaries of our ladder so to do that i'm just going to come here and use a greater than now uh, this should determine uh, the width of our ladder now i can come in here use this as the factor just have this as color one but change this to mix Okay, this is should be like that and uh, this color can be black and uh, we have that we're going to need this for we can also add these lines on top of uh, this so i'm just going to drop them here so let me do this is as a factor uh, this as a and uh, i can just choose whatever color I want here. Uh, we also have these cross lines. We can add them together with this using a, another math node. So add this uh, with this and uh, we have that. But uh, again, they're going outside our boundary. So I can, let's preview this. I can just add another math node here. Uh, this time we want to subtract this sphere from the rest of everything. So I can just do a uh, subtract. Ah, okay, this gives us a different thing. But I, 
this also lo looks interesting and uh, if we use it add other factor here let's see ah, look at that nice but uh we want to flip this around so that we have something like that or we can just use a multiply and that will also give us the same result so we have that uh, we need uh, that uh, so we get something like this can can adjust the colors a bit and our thickness of the lines I think yeah is controlled by this modulus and the, the number of lines can be controlled here and adjusting that you can see also adjust the gradient okay which is cool now if you add on some bloom you can see we start to see get something that looks quite good I think and uh, you can increase the value to something like three to make it more powerful to make the bloom more pronounced it's uh, for now let's first turn it off now we want to have things that are being detected and for that we're going to just let me come in here we're just going to create some particles of ships for this case uh, and now we're going to use a Voronoi texture uh, that will look like that if you turn on turn off ran randomness so that is almost like a grid i change this to smooth f1 we can add a color ramp and just have some dots like that which we can scale down into what would look like a grid now you can even add a math node change this to power let's say power five now we can introduce some bit of randomness just like that let's continue to because we don't want a full grid of dots we want to be able to detect just a few and reduce uh, the scale a bit like that to reveal them only where the gradient is where the ladder is looking I can find our ladder uh, I think with which is this and just multiply multiply that so I'll just connect these two I think one and this and uh, yeah now we can see them and actually what we could do uh, because they should have the same color as as the ladder what we can do is uh, so we have those points there and I also have the ladder so what I'm going to do is just add the two together this and this add and I can see we have them now like that I want these to be a bit brighter so I can come in here and just see multiply yeah multiply make them a bit faded like that now I can connect this into this gradient and that should give me the colored gradient and there uh, we have that you can also make them even brighter by just using a mixed a mixed node here this is not something I did in the original one. I actually did this a bit different from uh, the original one. If you want the project files, they're going to be in the description. Uh, the original one I created and uh, this one for the tutorial. I, I think I've worked them a bit differently. I usually do that uh, because I forget how I did it previously and I just think of a new one, a new way to do things. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this in and uh, add back this uh, to make those spots a bit brighter. Can see that's the original and uh, that's the new one just to make those spot a bit brighter yeah uh, if we look at uh, this here no 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 not this yeah this modulus here uh, we can actually create 
uh, a glowy effect for these lines without uh, relying on the bloom effect. So uh, I'm looking at this gradient here, at uh, this uh, modulus here. If I use a, a math node uh, with operation of power, like this, I can create something like that, that I can come here. Okay, I can, uh, so this is uh, the lines. I can just add them together. So this and uh, this, if I add them together, I get that glow and just a little bit. I can even use a ramp, a color ramp here. I just control uh, the contrast of the glow and uh, maybe just add uh, the colors here. So I'll just make this a bit, maybe greenish like that. Then just add the two with uh, add, with add. And uh, we have a glow. Uh, this in, 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 the inside of the circle is a bit greenish. I don't know if you can see that from the screen, uh, but uh, we can get this. I think it's no, no, not that. Yeah, the, is it this? Yeah, this here. Just overlay it on top of everything. So I just have this as A and this as B. Actually, I can just. I can just have it as the factor and uh, have it at the bottom. Yeah, you can have it as A and this is B and just give it a color ramp. Give it a different, I think it's a, a greenish color like that. And uh, if you want, we can also add a grid inside of this. Uh, maybe something like uh, we can just use a gradient. Uh, we can use texture coordinates. And we just use the separate x, y, and just use a math node. Change this to absolute, absolute, and uh, change this to modulus to have uh, the lines repeating. And uh, repeat this again at the same for the Y and add everything together. And then let's use a greater than sign. Okay, this has to be here. Here, so these lines should be separate and uh, that like that. And uh, I think we can use a value, a separate value to control both the thickness of these lines. Let's do 0 0.0. Okay, something like that. And uh, then we can add it on top of everything. So just blend it on top of this. And uh, I think you can see the grid there. Yeah, we can add vector mapping here. You can add mapping. Just scale this uh, to scale the grid. Now we have ladder, just like that. Okay, uh, if you like this type of content, leave a comment in the description and uh, maybe you can even suggest what you want to see next. And uh, make sure to like so that uh, I can know that uh, this is something you want to learn. And I think this is a great topic uh, to introduce you to more complicated shaders. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Project files will be in the description.